Hi, I'm Frank Vespi here for The Racing Biz, and I'm here with Ryan Fogelsonger this Preakness week to talk Preakness and talk Ryan's career. Ryan was a jockey here in Maryland for a number of years. He's an Eclipse Award winner, and he had two Preakness mounts. Ryan, how are you? I'm doing okay. Good, good. So you had two Preakness mounts. Yep. Give us the lowdown on that. Cherokee's Boy was the first one, and I actually started the apprentice of the bug when I rode him. Um, can't use those pounds in the Preakness, though. Can, yeah, I can't use them, but it was... It was nice that the owners and the trainer for uh, for Gary and ZWP Stable were like, you know, they're asking, are you still going to use Ryan in, in the Preakness team that you can't get the weight? And they said, he's been our jockey for, for all these races. We're going to go with him. Mm -hmm. And so I, that felt good. And it was nerve-wracking. It was exciting. It was probably everything you can put into one. <laughs> so talk, talk about, it. so it's Preakness Day. Now, you're, you're a bug rider. So that means you're out in the mornings all the time, working horses, trying to meet people, trying to get mounts. So Preakness Day, you wake up, do you go work horses first thing in the morning? Uh, usually not. And the reason is because the races start at like 10.30, and you know, jocks have to be here by about 8.30. But um, I mean, the day before Black Eyed Susan Day, you know, I was, yeah, I was out there in the morning working first. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Saturday I'd wake up, come straight here, and look all nice in a suit, which no one would see because I get here before everybody else. <laughs> but uh, it's it's a great day, great yeah. day. Yeah, so what's that, that feeling like? Now you're in with Cherokee's Boy, and Cherokee's Boy was considered a live shot here. He, yeah. he had a shot. Yeah, I think he was maybe seven, eight, to 10 to one, somewhere in that range. Um, but he was just dominating Maryland at the time, the source. I, don't know if there were stakes that we ran in in Maryland that we didn't win. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he was just a great horse. And uh, he hooked a couple of strong ones in the Preakness. Yeah. But it was it was, was that still, the Was that the Smarty Jones here? That, yes, it was. Okay. Yep. Yeah. He would have been a handful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was it was fun. It was fun. Now, and, and then you, you had Water Cannon in the Preakness, too. Yep. Now, that, that is a little bit different story, because he was like an inch better than the Maryland horses. Yeah. But just an inch. He, uh... He ended up winning six races in a row after they strapped blinkers on him. And I was on board for his previous two wins before the Preakness. And he won the uh, Federico Tessio, right. which then decided, all right, well, we'll give it a shot in Preakness. And it was still fun. Yeah. It was still fun. So and I think the owners and Linda had a bass too. So, <laughs> so in the Tessio, I remember this race because he ran against um, Pawnee Princess. Right. It was Philly, the yep. real fast filly. Yep. It was distance limited and just got up late, right? I, I took the lead for coming out of the gate and then down the backside, uh, Jeremy Rose was on Pawnee Princess in round 5 eighths pole going into the second turn. He took over the lead and I kind of just let water came and settle and we ended up maybe a half a length at the time we got to the wire we beat him. So so then you go in the Preakness and you're a serious long shot going in the Preakness. How's it different riding, you know, how's it different riding Cherokee's boy who's a horse that, you know, if he runs a big race right. he's got a real shot versus Water Cannon who needs a whole lot of things to happen for him to be there. <laughs> um, it's a little different but I, I just no matter what the race is, whether it would be, you know, the Preakness or just a claiming five, the only thing I can do is ride it to win it, you know, and you got to ride the races the way that they set up and stuff like that. So I figured best case scenario, I give this horse every chance and he just surprises everyone and blows by everyone. Worst case, we get a little dirty and have fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So why, so what's so fun about riding in the Preakness versus another race? Just uh, the excitement, all the publicity, all the people, you know, I, you look in past pictures of way back in the day at Pimlico and it's like Preakness Day every day, you got all fans out here and stuff right. and fortunately it's not like that anymore nowadays, but uh, Preakness Day is crazy right. and I got a bunch of friends, you know, that come and watch and family, so. It, Do they come in the infield or? Uh... Yeah, all my friends still went in the infield, so they really didn't even get to see me or anything. Right. By the but time they I had a good time them, too. Oh, they had a blast. <laughs> They had a blast. They just depended on me to drive them home afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so you really lost it, man. <laughs> yeah.